Jacob and Esau, also known by many as Jacob and Hitbox. They are two characters who were originally from Anti-Birth, but have since been converted over to Repentance. Today we're going to take a deep dive into the lore behind the two brothers. I'm going to go over everything in their biblical story, and after that I'm going to compare it to everything I can in the game. I have to say, these two have been translated into the game very, very well. I'm honestly impressed. After this video, you're going to understand everything about these boys. You're going to understand why Esau's skin color is red, why their stats are the way they are, why Dark Esau is the way he is, and we're going to do our best to explain all of their unlocks and achievements. You all seem to really like my deep dive into Isaac's biblical lore, so I decided to make this into a series. Let me know who or what from Isaac you want to see me cover next, and subscribe so you don't miss it. Okay, Jacob and Esau, where do we begin? Oh, I know. Esau. Okay, now that we're all on the same page, let's get into it. Jacob and Esau are the fraternal twins of Isaac and Rebecca. Now buckle up because this has a very interesting beginning. While pregnant, Rebecca felt Jacob and Esau fighting inside of her womb. She then asked God what was happening and God replied, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples from within you will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other, and the older will serve the younger. Which is all true, and God essentially spoiled the story. Esau was born first. He came out red, and his entire body was incredibly hairy. Which is why they named him Esau. His name literally just translates to hairy. Jacob was born immediately after. He came out with his hand grasping Esau's heel. So they named him Jacob, which means to follow, to be behind. As you can see, Isaac and Rebecca were very, very creative. Jacob had smooth, hairless skin, completely opposite of Esau. So that explains why Esau is red in the game. And you might be thinking, this is why dark Esau attacks tainted Jacob, because they've been fighting ever since the womb. And while this alludes to that, there is a much deeper reason that we're going to get into in a second. By the way, since Esau was the firstborn, he received birthrights. Birthrights always went to the firstborn. The one who has birthrights is the one who takes on their father's responsibilities and authority once their father passes. The two grew up and became very different. Esau became a skilled hunter, while Jacob was just a quiet man who dwelled in tents. Isaac favored Esau over Jacob because he liked the meat that Esau brought in. That's literally the only reason stated. And Rebecca favored Jacob, and there's no real reason stated. But in other words, they played favorites. One day, Esau came back from a hunting trip, very faint. Esau sees Jacob boiling some stew and asks if he can have some since he feels so faint. Jacob said he would give him some if Esau sold him the birthright. Esau accepted since he knew the birthright would do him no good since he was about to die. Esau pinky promised he'd hand over the birthright so then Esau sold Jacob his birthright in exchange for the stew and bread. Esau ate it and was on his way. Esau despised the birthright because of this. Years passed, Isaac was old, blind, and knew he would die soon. He told Esau to go hunting for him and prepare a delicious meal for him to eat. And after eating, he'll give Esau his blessing. A blessing in this sense means that Isaac is asking God to look after Esau. Rebecca overheard what Isaac told Esau and told Jacob everything. She then told Jacob to bring her two goats and that she'll make a meal that Isaac would like. And that way, Isaac would give Jacob the blessing instead. They then prepared the food and Rebecca put some of Esau's clothes on Jacob and covered his neck and hands in goat skin. This was so Isaac wouldn't be able to tell it was Jacob by touch or smell. Jacob then went to Isaac with the food, saying he was Esau. Isaac touched Jacob's hand and noticed it was hairy. And then he said, The voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And then he asked if he was really Esau, and Jacob replied, saying yes. Isaac then asked for a kiss, and so Jacob kissed him. Isaac smelled Esau's clothes and then was convinced that Jacob was Esau and proceeded to bless him. After receiving the blessing, Jacob left. Esau then came back from the hunting trip and brought Isaac the food like Isaac had requested. At first, Isaac was confused about who we just blessed. Then they quickly figured out Jacob had tricked Isaac, which made Esau furious. He cried out and asked Isaac if he could bless him too, but Isaac refused and told Esau that Jacob was now lord over him. Esau was now angry that he had been tricked out of his birthright and his father's blessing. He then says, The days of mourning my father are near. 
then I will kill my brother Jacob. Rebecca overheard that as well and told Jacob everything. She then tells Jacob to flee and go live with her brother in a place called Haran. So then Jacob sets out to Haran. On his way, Jacob fell asleep using a stone as a pillow. He then has a dream where he saw a stairway resting on earth that led to heaven. God then spoke to him and explained how he is the God of Abraham, who is Jacob's grandfather, and the God of Isaac. And he explains that he will watch over him and lead him back to his original home one day. When Jacob awoke, he continued on his travels. Jacob finally made it to his uncle's where he wasn't treated well, but he worked there for 20 years. In this time, he had 11 sons, one daughter, and two wives. Yet, Jacob was fed up with how he was treated there by Rebekah's brother, Laban. Then, an angel of God told Jacob that it was time to go back home and face Esau. So, that's what Jacob did. He sent out a messenger to Esau, and that messenger returned saying that Esau was coming with 400 men, which Jacob interpreted as Esau was bringing an army to kill him. So, Jacob prayed and sent Esau's gifts in the form of a lot, a lot of animals. One night in Jacob's travels, he was left alone, and out of nowhere, a mysterious man came up and wrestled him until morning. The mysterious man then realized he couldn't win against Jacob, and then he touched Jacob's hip and broke it. And then he asked to be freed. Jacob said he won't let him go until he blesses him. The man says, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and humans and overcome. And then he blesses Jacob. The name Israel roughly translates to Prince of God he who wrestled with God. The man then leaves Jacob and continues on his journey to meet Esau, now limping. Jacob eventually saw Esau coming with his 400 men. Jacob prepared for the worst, but then Esau ran up to Jacob and gave him a hug and a kiss. The two brothers then made up. And that's the story between the two brothers. They did bury Isaac once he passed away, and there are more stories with Jacob, but a lot of those are centered around his children, and I don't know how much they pertain to the binding of Isaac in general, so I just didn't mention them in this video. If there is something I'm missing, let me know, and maybe I'll talk about it in a future video. So now I'm gonna try and connect the dots for you guys as best as possible to all the biblical references in Isaac. So like I mentioned before, Esau is red because that's how he came out of the womb. Their in-game stats also reflect how they were in the Bible. Esau was a strong hunter, so his damage is higher. But his luck stat is worse because... You heard the story, right? You unlock Double Baby by killing Mom's Heart, which is just a co-op baby that shoots with 20-20. I don't think there's any more of a reference in here the f besides the fact it's, it's just Esau and Jacob as a co-op baby. <laughs> the stairway is unlocked by killing Isaac. This is an obvious reference to when Jacob was on his way to Haran and fell asleep and had a dream about a stairway coming down from heaven. This item was originally called Jacob's Ladder in Anti-Birth, but it was later changed to the stairway so people didn't confuse it with Afterbirth Plus's Jacob's Ladder. Red Stew was unlocked from killing Satan, and that Red Stew is in reference to when Esau sold his birthrights for Red Stew. Birthrights is unlocked by killing Blue Baby, and I'm not even going to explain the reference here because if you don't understand the reference, reference to Birthright, you just haven't been watching the video. Damocles is unlocked by defeating the lamb, and for this one, I'm just gonna read straight from the Isaac wiki. The item's appearance and effects are a reference to the Sword of Damocles, a story in which Damocles frequently praised King... Dinosius? Uh, uh, his life of wealth and luxury, and offered to switch places with... Dinosius on the throne for a day to have a taste of his power. Damocles accepted only to find that he had a sword hanging over his throne by a single horsehair to remind Damocles of the never-ending threats to both themselves and their country that a ruler must deal with during their reign, causing Damocles to beg to give the throne back to Dinosaurus. So obviously this doesn't have anything directly to do with Jacob and Esau. I, I, I think it's a fine unlock because it's still a story about two people who at one point desire the same thing. In Damocles' story, just the throne in general, and Jacob and Esau's story, you know birthrights and Isaac's blessing. But at this point, I'm just kind of reaching for some kind of correlation here. Rock Bottom is unlocked by completing Boss Rush. 
Rock Bottom is most likely a reference to the stone that Jacob used as a pillow when he had the dream about the stairway. So I'm just gonna assume that Rock Bottom is sad to reflect on how Jacob was not treated properly in Haran once he got there. Vanishing Twin is unlocked by defeating Hush, and I assume this is just a reference to how Jacob disappeared from his hometown. You know, he was a twin that vanished? Huh? Illusion Baby is unlocked by defeating Mega Satan, which is just another co-op baby. This must be in reference to how Jacob tricked Isaac into thinking that he was Esau, creating the illusion he was someone else. Suplex is unlocked by defeating Delirium. This is in reference to when Jacob wrestled the angel before meeting up with Esau. Magic Skin is unlocked by defeating Mother. I just assumed this was a reference to the lamb skin that Jacob used to confuse and trick Isaac into thinking he was Esau, but the wiki had something else to say. The item is a reference to the book by French novelist Honoré de Balzac called La Peau de Chargin. Chadrin. I'm just gonna go with that. Known in English as the wild ass's skin. In this story, the main character finds a talisman made of donkey skin that grants wishes. But each wish causes the talisman to become smaller as well as his lifetime. He attempts to get rid of the skin, but it always finds a way to return to him. Friend Finder is unlocked by defeating the beast, and the best I could connect the dots is when Esau finally reconnected with Jacob. Inner Child is unlocked by beating Greed Mode, and again, I'm just gonna read the wiki for this one. Inner Child is a concept in popular psychology that there exists an inner child in every subconscious that contains memories of pain and trauma in youth. Honestly, this unlock probably could have worked for a bunch of different characters, but it is very fitting that it is a Jacob and Esau unlock because they have been fighting since the womb, so you can't start earlier than that. Genesis is unlocked by beating Greedier Mode. Again, Genesis could have been an unlock for most every other character. Genesis is just a reference to the first book in the Bible. Solomon's baby is unlocked by getting all hard mode completion marks with the character. The babies are just controlled into two parts as if there are separate Jacob and Esau's and I think that's where the correlations end. And once you unlock Tain and Jacob, you get an achievement called the Deserter, which is obviously a reference to Jacob deserting his home. But I think this is the perfect achievement name for this very specific unlock. It's perfect because Jacob deserted his home because Esau was angry. And Dark Esau is clearly some representation of Esau's anger towards Jacob. Now let's get into Tainted Jacob's unlocks. I know a lot of these aren't in reference to the Bible, as, as far as I know anyway, but let's talk about them anyway. You unlock RC Remote by defeating Isaac, Blue Baby, Satan, and the Lamb. I, I don't even have to say this, but there's no RC cars or remotes in the Bible. I'm sorry to break it to you. But this is clearly just a Jacob and Esau unlock because this trinket makes it so you can control familiars kind of like Jacob and Esau. The reverse sun and moon card is unlocked by beating greeter mode. I think the only real correlation here is the sun and the moon are complete opposites just like Jacob and Esau. Golden trinkets are unlocked by defeating Mega Satan and I don't think there's any correlation there. I looked at other tainted characters Mega Satan unlocks and they all seem kind of random. Found soul is unlocked by defeating mother. I again don't think there's any correlation here. All the wiki says is that found soul is in reference to lost soul and once you go to lost soul's wiki page it says nothing. <laughs> I, I guess the best I, I could correlate this to is found soul is when Jacob and Esau found each other and were happy again but at this point I'm really just grasping at straws for an explanation. Esau Jr. is unlocked by defeating the beast. I don't think there's much correlation here either. I guess it's fitting that it's uh, Esau Jr as opposed to like Judas Jr. or anyone else considering their story does start in the womb but I think that's kind of where it ends. Anima Sola is unlocked by defeating Delirium. Anima Sola translates to lonely soul in Latin. It just refers to a soul stuck in purgatory. It's often depicted with someone chained up in flames which is why it's a chain and why you can see the heat on one end. Which makes sense. I guess you could say Esau was left in a state of purgatory for years when Jacob fled and Esau was just left to be angry at him for years. Those are all the biblical references I could find on Jacob and Esau. If there's anything I missed, got incorrect or whatever, just let me know in the comments and I'll address them all. And if you want to see more, subscribe of course and let me know who you want me to cover next in the comments. And don't forget to watch the video I made on Isaac's lore as well. That's all I have for you. I hope you all have a happy Tuesday. Peace out.